In this tutorial, I'm going to perform a structure analysis of a 2D plane frame structure subjected to a 20 kN lateral load as shown in the figure. I'll present the manual computations first using the moment distribution method. This will be followed by the robust structure analysis software solution. This is a frame that is going to be analyzed. It's a single story, single bay frame spanning 5 meters and having a height of 3.5 meters subjected to 20 km lateral load. So for the hand calculations, the moment distribution method is used. For the moment distribution method, the distribution factors for the joints are computed first. We don't go ahead and assume a lateral displacement delta. Compute the resulting fixed end moments due to delta. Assume the fixed end moments generated is say 100 kilonewton meter, and then we perform the moment distribution for the 100 kilonewton meter load as can be seen in this diagram. We then apply the computer moments and compute the resulting horizontal reactions. And the magnitude of the load Q that corresponds to the member end moments is computed using moment equilibrium. The actual member end moment due to a 20 kN load can now be computed by multiplying the moment obtained from the moment distribution by the ratio of 20 over 43.39, where the 43.39 was a load Q obtained from the previous computations. Using equilibrium equations, we can then go ahead and compute the forces and moments in the frame. So these are the reactions that were obtained from the analysis. We'll now switch to the robust structure analysis software and perform the structure analysis. Note that the 2D frame is made up of uh, steel with a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal, moment of inertia of 225 to the power 6 millimeters to the power 4. So we'll start by going to tools, job preferences. And then the modifications, we'll just check to ensure that the uh, Young's modulus is 200,000 megapascal, which is the same as what we would use. Okay. For the modeling of the structure, first click on bus and enter the following node of coordinates. For bar 1, enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.003.5. For bar 2, enter 0, 0.3.5, 5, and 3.5. And for the third bar, 5.0, 3.5, You can go ahead and close. If we then look at the model we have, See how the frame constructed. Next, I'll create a bar section for the model. Since the moment of inertia given was i equal to 225 times 10 to the power 6 millimeters to the power 4, assuming a square cross section, the dimensions of the cross section will be 228 millimeters by 228 millimeters. So click on section, new, and the new section will choose parametric, make sure it is solid. And since the dimension size is 13 meters, I'll go ahead and enter 22.8 by 
I told you from eight. I'm going to name it my cross section. Click on add and close. So next make sure that the structural members have the steel material property assigned to them. So we just need to make sure. So we just go ahead and for each member we apply the cross section we created. Click on close. Next, we apply the appropriate support types. A fixed support at node 1 and a pin support at node 2. Close that. Next, the 20 kN lateral load will be applied in the following steps. We'll need to create a load height first. Name, click add. So it's out of this. Before we go ahead and apply the 20 kN load, first under the loads menu, click on load table and make sure that the self weight load is deleted. In this tutorial, we're only interested in the effects of the lateral load and not the self weight of the structural members. Note that in actual design, we will consider self weight. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are only interested in the structural analysis and not the design. Next, under load definition, we choose the nodal load and then put in the 20 kN force in the x direction. We click add and apply it to node 2. So it's out of that. We can view the applied load by clicking on the load symbols and the load value description icon. So this shows the 20 kN load applied to the structure. Now go ahead and perform the calculations by clicking on the calculations button here. The structure analysis is now complete. We can now go ahead and look at some of the results. So under the results menu, you can go to diagrams or bars, and under it you will see this, these tabs. If you click on reactions, and want to see the support reactions in the X, Z, and the moments also, click choose descriptions. So click on apply. You can see that the moments. The reaction support reaction is written on the screen. We can also go ahead and then check the default shape if we want to. Click apply, just as a default shape. Which is consistent with what we are supposed to have. We can go ahead and also look at certain diagrams. So if we wanted to look at the actual force diagram, if we go ahead and look at it, we could also go and look at the bond moment diagram. If you wanted to see the values in the bond moment diagram, you come to parameters. And the parameters we will choose the labels and then fill, click apply. It gives us a nice visual of the bend moment diagrams. We can go ahead and at this point we can turn off the reaction so we don't have so much information on the screen. Click on apply and then we have a visual of the bend moment diagrams. We have seen moments here as expected. If we are still interested in the shear force diagram, we can also go ahead and plot out the shear force diagram. Okay, so this ends our analysis with global structural analysis.
Now if you go ahead and compare results from your robot structure analysis program with our hand calculations, you see that we get almost as that matches. And note that sign convention in robot structure analysis is upward is positive, right direction is positive, and also clockwise moments is positive. So it is giving us a negative here because the moment is anti-clockwise.